conditions for the meeting of Bennett and Treviso and Cardiff Blues were difficult for players and supporters alike. The rain was pouring and underfoot conditions were tricky. Treviso had never beaten the Blues before, but the Welsh side came into the game with just one win in their last four Rabo Direct Pro 12 matches. Phil Davies' side started the game eighth in the table, two points behind Treviso in seventh. The visitors opened the scoring in the 12th minute when Treviso were penalised for going off their feet. Kerry Sweeney, who'll be on his way to Exeter next season, landed the penalty to give the Blues a three points to nil lead. But that lead didn't last long. Both sides were able to welcome back returning internationals after the RBS Six Nations campaign. And one of those players, Alessandro Zani for Treviso, was at the end of a well-worked move to pirouette over the line near the corner flag. Good improvisation by Zani and Alberto Di Bernardo was successful with a really well-struck conversion. Treviso now led seven points to three. Franco Smith's Treviso side were playing with a huge degree of confidence and having been tackled, Ludovico Nitolia got up to break the Blues' defensive line. A try-scoring opportunity presented itself, but unfortunately for the Italians, Nitolia's pass to second-row Cornelius Van Zyl was knocked on. Whether the lock would have had the pace to reach the line is another question, but a demonstration of Treviso's ability to run at teams. In the 29th minute, Blues struck for their first try of the game. Lloyd Williams made the break off the line out before finding centre David Hewitt, who raced to the line despite the attentions of fullback Brendan Williams. And Sweeney kicked the conversion to put Blues back ahead 10 7, 10 minutes before the break. Cardiff have won all 15 previous encounters with Italian opposition, but Treviso were giving them a battle and they levelled the scores five minutes before half time when Di Bernardo slotted a penalty over to make it 10 points all. And just before the break, Di Bernardo kicked another fine effort over to give the home side a three point lead going in at half time. Treviso 13, Blues 10. Into the second half, five minutes after coming on as a sub, Lou Reed transformed the scoreline when he bustled his way over the line from close range in the 49th minute. The weather may have been bad, but it was turning out to be a perfect day for Reed. The referee Giuseppe Vivarini sought confirmation from the TMO, but it was never in doubt. The try was good, and when Sweeney knocked over the conversion, Blues were 17-13 ahead. Thank you. There was little to choose between the two sides and the visitors suffered a blow when flanker Mike Patterson was yellow carded for persistent offending. And Treviso took advantage just short of the hour mark. The referee awarded a penalty try as the blue scrum buckled in front of the posts. Delight for the home crowd and Di Bernardo converted to put the Italians 2017 ahead. In the 68th minute, Treviso stretched further ahead when Di Bernardo was on the mark with another well-struck penalty after interference in the line-out. Considering the conditions, the out-half was kicking really well. And shortly before the end of the game, Di Bernardo landed another insurance penalty to make it 26-17. There'd be no comeback from there for the Blues. And right at the end of the game, Treviso thought they might have finished with a flourish when substitute Paul Derbyshire got on the end of a chip through, but he was ruled to have knocked on. No try, no try but it didn't matter as the full-time whistle blew. Treviso had recorded another win in what's turning out to be a good season. Blues without so many top players out through injury, defeated by Italian opposition for the first time ever. Final score at the Stadio di Monigo, Treviso 26. Blues 17.